God, what they're doing to the internet right now as far as internet search results is far worse than even I had realized. In my previous video, I showed what happens when you Google certain topics or any topic, whether it be something controversial or something benign, and how it will show hundreds of millions and even billions of search results. But when you scroll over just a few dozen pages, it just stops dead in its tracks. And upon doing some further experimenting into this, because I read many comments and people asking what happens when you use alternative platforms like DuckDuckGo and others. So upon doing some experimentation, I found that it's even far worse than I had realized. And this is really important because certain people had some feedback saying that, okay, this is nothing sinister, this is nothing, you know, conspiratorial, it just has to do with data and how the internet search engines work. But let me just jump into this to show you just how bad things truly are involving the controlling of information. Okay, so here I am back at Bing, which is the second largest search engine after Google slash YouTube. And here I am, I just type in this simple little date, which we all are aware of, and as you can see, we have 8.7 billion search results. So let me just scroll back down and do what we did last time, except for you're going to find something far more disturbing than the results just cutting off. So give this just a second. And notice that at the top, every time I go to another page, they throw Wikipedia at the very, very top. But start to notice some of these reoccurring titles. Ex-officer, police uh, officer gets seven years in prison. After Mar-a-Lago search, users on pro-Trump, blah, 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 blah. So just wait for it, because you're going to see very quickly the same thing over and over and over again. Look at this. Mar-a-Lago. Sorry, I keep highlighting everything. But look at this here. Keep watching. After Mar-a-Lago users, blah, 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 from NBC News. So that's page 13. Let's go to page 15. Again, Wikipedia. Go down, same article right here, ex-officer gets seven years. NBC News, Mar-a-Lago golf course, blah, blah, blah. Over and over again. Look, page 17, let's go to 19. Look at this. People were trying to criticize me in my prior video saying that you just, again, you don't understand how the data works. It doesn't matter, it's not showing you billions of results. You don't need to see them anyways. And people just explaining away the situation. No, this is far worse, look. It's going to end at a certain point, like I showed you last time, if I go a few dozen pages in. Go watch that previous video. But this is even worse than that. This is quite literally shockingly worse than I had imagined. Look, it's the same articles over and over and over again. I'm page 25, or page 25, going on to page 27. Look, same thing over and over and over again. Page 29, same thing over and over and over again. Do you get the point? I'm not even going to bother showing you how far this goes. I don't even care because, well, I do care, but I want to show you what happens. Let's go to Yahoo, which I trashed on last time. And you're going to see something. Look at you see already search uh, result. Ex-police officer gets seven years. Wait for it. Because this one seems to be mixing in other articles as well. But here we go. Look, the Wikipedia page. Look at these results. Pay close attention. Look, these are all the same ones. Totally different search engine. Look, same thing. They're all the same how many look we're on page 21 let's jump to tw 23 look same exact stuff all over again page 25 look this is disturbing i thought it running out of results after a few pages you know several dozen pages in was um not just bizarre but disturbing as well but i didn't actually look to read all the different articles i made paid i mean i paid attention to see that they're all mainstream articles and that was the point i made in the last video look I'm 33 pages in. It's the same results. So let's go to DuckDuckGo, which is supposed to be the good one, right? Well, stand by. Now, what's interesting about DuckDuckGo is that they don't show you the page or the results number, but, well, it will. See, look, they're more nuanced. See, hold on. See right here? The exact stuff as you were seeing on Bing and Yahoo. So hold on. Let me go to page five. Look. Same thing over and over again. They do mix in some other ones, but look, it's the same ones. I don't, I, I, I don't even know what to say, guys. This is, if you're not concerned about this, then you may be lost. And I'm not trying to disparage anyone's way of thinking. Now look, okay, so page seven, you see the wiki wasn't at the top, a couple new articles, but that one isn't, or this, we'll be honest, this one seems to be throwing in a couple other randoms, but these are all mainstream articles. 
or uh, outlets. I mean, come on, Huffington Post and everything else. Bear with me. So look, this one is better in that they mix in other ones, but there's still the reoccurring, reoccurring articles over and over again. All right, we're on page 10, page 12. Same exact ones. You can get it away all they want, which is all, hold on, this is, this is a technical standpoint. This has to do with data. Most people aren't searching that far. If you just get more detailed in what you're searching for, you'll eventually find it, which I basically had said that you have to be very, very specific. But this demonstration, this little experiment shows exactly what I was saying, which is that they're putting everyone into these boxes of information and we're all just divided amongst each other. I was making the point that whatever the controversial topic it is that anyone may be discussing, you have these sides that are so divided. And sometimes I ask myself, I'm like, how can people be so divided? There's enough information out there to see that we're all just being kept in these uh, methods of thinking. But this in itself really shows you that it's something far worse. They are just regurgitating the same exact mainstream articles, which are probably paying these search engines to be prioritized. But how many dozens of pages back do you have to go to see that they have now limited all available information?